Well, hello, and welcome back to Unheard here on Boot Plays Whatever. In a previous episode, we got an introduction, and then we have started in on our first real quote unquote case, uh, the case of the missing painting. So we have to answer the questions, who stole the real painting first, and who has the real painting at the end? So, as we were listening on in, in the old Banya over here, bathroom guy number one actually has the painting. The bathroom guy number two seemed to originally steal the painting. And this is what we heard. Now let's head on into the maestro's room. Now we have to figure out who these guys are. And we gotta listen. So much hot listening action. This guy's just not going to answer the phone. What a dick. <laughs> what a dick. Or is he calling? Where are you? What? You're lost? I told you it was A2. A round building. The exhibition will start soon. You must hurry. You will go straight to the storeroom. The combo for the safe is... Yes, well, you must not get caught. I know, I know that, Tommy. That's why I hired you. Caught. Okay, so, Maestro... Talking to spelling, talking to th thief, which should be bathroom guy number. Call me when you're finished. Uh, should should be bathroom guy number two. So is that all that happens in here? Oh no, somebody else enters the fray. Damn it! This storeroom looks like a fucking hurricane ran through it. How the hell am I supposed to find the safe? Okay, so this is the thief. Or is it? This doesn't sound like that guy, though. So this isn't the same. That was guy number one. I'm there. Right there my, uh, huh? Ah, that must be it right there. Let's give the old combo a try. Ha! <laughs> and just like that, the job's done. Too easy. No wonder the old man ain't paying me much. Could have had me swipe a nicer painting, too. People these days will call anything art. Oh, so that is bathroom guy number two. Okay. So does anybody else enter this room? No. Okay. Let's give it a pause. Um, I guess we'll do the center room. That doesn't sound too bad. Oh. Uh, excuse me. 
Is this the uh, Tossed Art Exhibition? It's the Lost Art! Yeah. That's a man of tomorrow! But enough, he said, she said. Which way do I go to get to the storeroom? The storeroom? Well, it's over across from the bathrooms, but didn't you come to see the opening? You've been a pal. Thanks, man. Favorite artist consistent. my name. See you soon. The exhibition will start in three minutes. Please take your seats. Stop. The, ex the exhibition will start in two minutes. Please take your seats. Hmm. Is this guy security? I mean, we still have three unknowns. One minute. Please take your seats. Questions about to hey. Ah, there you are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. Mary. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome. welcome, welcome. I'm so, I'm so glad, glad you could all be here today. today. I'm, I'm sure, sure many of you have questions. Get down in the multi-black market. Black market. <laughs> Where are you going? I uh, uh, forgot something. I gotta take care. Gotta split the other side. I mean, thanks for visiting. No one did that day. Any photos? Wait a minute. So that guy's security. Any photos? Wait a minute. Any anonymous painting? Directors. Director. The painting's been found. But what? Another one? It cannot be. Holy crap! There's a lot of stuff going on. We'll come back to this. Let's go ahead and check out this third room. Potential buyer. When I don't ex Good news. I have a potential buyer. One I don't expect will require much convincing or ask too many questions. Quit worrying. It's perfectly safe. You know I don't deal with the real thing. Ever. But the others are none the wiser, and my position lends me plausibility. So long as you keep your mouth shut, everything will be fine. Besides, I have complete faith in your skill. There isn't a single person who'll be able to tell your work is a fake. Anyway, this was all his idea. So, woman is talking to... Talking to second artist. This performance art the maestro orchestrated as his assistant. I'd like to think I'm doing him a favor. And since he staged this whole thing himself, he won't get the police involved. That should put your mind at ease. Yes? I've already told you the lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who knows how many people are going to get tangled up in this before it's over, each of them playing their own special roles in the maestro's machinations without realizing it. You and I, well, we're just the first two actors in the play, but at least we're not improvising. Really, the more I think about it, the more genius it all is. Claude truly is a master. Anyway, I should go. I'm meeting the buyer soon. I'll call you back when I have our money in hand. All right? Have you arrived, Mr. Green? So, are the rumors true? I hear the maestro hired someone to swipe his work so he could showcase an empty frame. Only he would pull something like that. <laughs> as soon as the painting surfaces, it's mine. And don't worry, 
I won't forget about your cut for helping me find it. It's my pleasure, but don't bother looking for it on the black market. That place is nothing but a cesspool of forgeries. What do you mean by that? The maestro may have his own plan, but if the painting's going to get stolen anyway, I figured I could do him a favor. Ta-da! The... You took it? When, uh... When did you nab it? The when is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. Uh, if you'll, uh... Excuse me for a moment. I have to take this. Okay, so that's Green on the phone with... Sorry, and... Sorry, sorry. Important call, you know. But anyway, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, you sure it's okay? I mean, taking the painting behind the maestro's back and everything. But that's exactly what he wanted, isn't it? For the painting to be stolen. But instead of letting it fall into the hands of a two-bit thief who doesn't know a thing about art, I thought it would be safer in the hands of a true connoisseur, like yourself. Don't you agree? You flatter me. And you're not wrong there. I'm a big fan of the maestro's work. I'm talking huge. So, rather than cutting me in for a finder's fee, I'd like to offer a chance to buy it direct. Assuming the price is right. Oh, well, I brought all the cash I could get on such short notice. You think this will be enough? Hmm. Was hoping for a bit more. But seeing as you're all Johnny on the spot, and in cash, too. You've got yourself a deal. Just remember, no selling for at least a year. Got that? This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh, don't worry about me. I understand all too well. After all, patience is key in my line of work. The longer I hold on to this painting, the more I'll be able to sell it for. Three years. That's my end game. And not a soul will know a thing about it until then. An expert as always. I should have known I wouldn't have to remind you. All right. The exhibition will kick off soon. If you'll excuse me. Go on ahead. I'll see you around. So nothing else in this room. Okay. Good news. I have a potential buyer. When I don't... ...details and... Woo-wee! Talk about a masterpiece! <laughs> Please keep your voice down. Okay. Top art exhibition. It's the lock. Mac, simmer down. I need to check things out first. This guy. Mac, simmer down. Hello? Hello? Hold up on me again? Didn't you come to see the opening? Well, if it isn't my favorite artist's assistant. On my way. See you soon. So the first bathroom guy is Mac. Which must mean that the secondary guy is Tommy. And I'm assuming that her name is Miss Reeves. And don't worry, I won't forget about. Ah, fake! I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hire a decent forger.
the exhibition for Maestro, the exhibition's about to start. Mais oui. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here today. I'm sure many of you have questions about the, well, empty fragments. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. And my warmest of welcomes to all of you here to see my work. This piece, my, my latest piece, has been an entire year in the making. However, it would seem a year is still not enough. No doubt you have already noticed uh, the empty frame before you. I am sorry to tell you, but my painting has actually been stolen. Silence! I, I have no doubt it will end up on the black market. Merci. My one regret. Oh yeah, the second bathroom guy. Nor did I take. Max still got the real painting though. In fact, I could in fact be my work. Fancy me, What the? One day you will seek out what are you doing here? Look at what I got uh, here. This is the real thing. And Pay up. Else. You've got me too? Director, the painting's been found. But what? Another one? Oh, it cannot be. Another what? one? The, uh, the lost art has returned. It's a miracle. Huh. Mr. Green, what brings you here? I wanted to thank you in person. Where are you? What? You're lost? I told you it was A2, a room. Go to our room. Is it combo for both of us? You go! Mac! Sam! Down! I need to check the. Sean! Ah, Maestro. There you are. I was just looking for you. I viewed your painting the other day, by the way. Truly a masterpiece. But when I just went to check on it earlier, all I saw was an empty frame. Your assistant said that's what you actually want to present. Could I ask the reason, if you don't mind? <sighs> Do you know why I picked the theme, the lost art, for this exhibition? Hmm? Look outside. Look at all those people staring at an empty frame. Thinking it is my actual work. Tell me, Sean, just how many works of art from young, promising artists do you have in this gallery right now? Ten? Twenty? You might as well have zero for all it is worth to these people. To them, this empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the actual art of all of these rising artists. Do people nowadays have any taste? Hmm. You're not wrong there, Maestro. But uh, that's pretty much how it's always been. It's like it doesn't you say his right. assistant's name. Of course. The Renaissance elite, uh, they patronized the starving sculptors Mr. Green and might painters. be talking to her. But it feels especially true now that art has become about who has more money? Whose name is more recognized? People have become nothing more than sheep with no opinions of their own. Call it performance art, if you wish. 
But this exhibition was never about a piece of canvas. No, the truth is, I hired a thief and instructed him to steal my painting and to sell it on the black market. If someone eventually recognizes my work, I will reveal everything, my entire scheme, and sign my name to it. Why, that's... that's brilliant. Just imagine the rush of people who'll be out searching for your painting. While it's true that they may just be in it for the money, they'll have to go through hundreds and hundreds of anonymous paintings if they have any hope of finding yours. Hello, this is Claude. <laughs> Thank you. Magnifique. Finally, we can begin. Are you ready, maestro? Yes. Let us, uh, as they say, get this show on the road, huh? I am hopeful that after today, people will finally start to appreciate the art around them. <clears throat> as they search for the stolen painting, they will find much more than they bargained for. The true lost art. And until my painting is found, this exhibition will continue. A brilliant plan. What once was lost shall be found, as they say. Precisely. Yes, yes, it's about that time. Shall we go? Onward and upward, let us march. After you. Ah, there you are, maestro. The exhibition's about to start. Mais oui. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna I'm slap so that with Reeves. You could all be here today. I'm sure so, you have maybe he'll say her name. Green will say her name when he comes on out. Mac! Simmer down! I need to check things out first. This kind of research can't be rushed. Call me back in a few minutes. Ms. Reeves! Yep, Ms. Reeves. Okay. So, um, who stole the, the real painting? Let's, let's head in here for this encounter. I got the merchandise! Merchandise! Uh oh! Hey, you don't happen to have a light on you, do you? Hmm? What's that you got there? What? Hey, this is... Is that a copy of the Maestro's painting? I got one myself. Pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah! Uh, yes, of course! <sighs> Want a cigarette? Don't know about you, but I'm barely keeping it together. Before the 90s, you could smoke anywhere, but now? Sure, thanks. Don't mind if I do. I can finally think again. I swear, they put restrictions on everything these days. Corral us out in the freezing cold in a designated smoker's area 15 feet from the door. Like nobody ever took a drag in front of the Mona Lisa before they put it behind glass. You feel me? Uh, sure. Yeah, I feel ya. Goddamn rules. Shit! Fucking smoke detector in the bathroom. Put it out, man. Put it out. Ouch! Watch it, man. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, I panicked. Anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Yeah. Here's your painting. I'm pretty You're certain on, that, man. uh... Ah, Christ. That he stole it. I, I have no doubt you end up on the black market. Where are you going? Merci. 
No, I think I'm pretty certain. Okay, so who stole the real painting? Tommy did. He stole the original painting. And then who has the real painting in the end? Mac actually does. Uh, yeah. All names marked correctly. You need to answer all two questions right now. None, none of them are correct. Okay, so all the names are marked correctly. You need to answer all two questions right now. So is it not counting? Okay, I need more time. So, well, if it's going by who orchestrated it, Maestro is the one that orchestrated the first thief. And then Mr. Green orchestrated the second one. So I guess we'll go with that. I mean, I mean Maestro would be the one. And then Mr. Green would be the second. What? What? All names are marked correctly. You need to answer all two questions. Right now, none of them are correct. None of them are correct? Well, who... Unless it's it's meaning that Reeves was the one told by Maestro. I mean, And apparently, so it's not green. So does security end up with the real one? Did he not actually get it from them? So right now you have one answer correct. Okay. All that, what in the world? Okay, so. So if we just put like, um. If we just put green, you need to answer all two questions. So security did end up with it? Wow, that guy sucks. How the hell do you not hear this guy in here? So security ended up with the painting. This maestro didn't steal the original. Near to the Tommy. Neither the briefs, apparently. So. Did Mac actually steal? So, security ended up with it in the very beginning. So did Mac actually steal it in the very beginning? No way. How? How? What? Good news. I have a potential buyer. Worrying, it's perfectly safe. You 
know I don't deal with the real thing. Ever. You took it? When, uh, when did you nab it? Oh. The win is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hide a decent fortune. Of course the painting you gave me is fake, but I swapped it with the real one in the store. Yeah, turns out that what's fake too. The deal's off. Get out the rest of your money. Hello? Hello? What the hell? Is he me to it? How did I miss that? You will go straight to the store room. The combo for the save is... Cool your jets, old man! You told me once before, I'm not gonna forget it! Yo, old man! I got the merchandise! Ouch! Watch it, man! Uh, so sorry! <laughs> sorry, I, I panicked. Anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your painting. See you around, yeah? You stole it! Hand it over! Jesus, fine! Take it! It ain't worth a shit! So Good Mac... work. Looks like you're what? getting the hang of this. Before we go any further, I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. There's nothing huh. to worry about, I can assure you. When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Oh, great. Now I'm going to Now go on to the next scenario. To further test your abilities, <laughs> we'll try a higher profile case. One I'm sure you remember from the news. Okay, wow. Okay. Really going to have to listen on in. <sighs> to everything. So, how the hell... How the hell did Mac get it in the very beginning? He's still away beforehand? Wow. Holy crap. Okay. That was good. I like that. But that's all the time I got for today. That solves case number one. Um, pretty poorly. I mean... Wow. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. I have to put my thinking caps on really hardcore, man. I'm trying to, there's a lot of misdirection going on here. I like it. It's a challenge. But yeah, that's all the time for got for today. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment on down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. When we come back, case number two, which uh, should be apparently even more difficult. And apparently, I'm also going to suffer side effects where I might go mentally insane. Nice. Uh, but until then, everybody, you take it easy. And I'll see you around. Peace.